Alright, so in <clears throat> this new part of the tutorial I'll make sure that all my tiles I created from A1 to E5 in my case uh, work fine. So first off I need to hide the background and I, I'll start to toggle on E5, E4, all of them. So let's see if they actually match all the areas I previously outlined through the guides in Photoshop. They look fine. So this is just like to double check that actually your tiles will be precise to the original map. Some more, I already am B, so now the A, A. Right, we're there. Okay, so all of them are fine. So now, next step is going to be exporting all these layers, but the background. So I'm going to select all of them. Here, they are blue. Then I'm going to File, Scripts, Export Layers to Files. There is like a pop-up window. We need to select the destination. In my case, is in my documents. Let me find it. Projects. This is my project. I already made like a map tiles folder. So then I can add a, a, um, a prefix. So it's going to be. MU in my case because I'm working on a project on Mich Michigan University tile oh, I was caps lock so you yeah. underscore tile underscore and then we already have here as name a1 a2 a3 so probably we'll keep them and then visible layers only so I want to export also the background we're going to PNG 8 a bit and now let's run the script for the show it will take a little while to process as you can see here in the layer manager something is going on Photoshop is reading all the visible layers and then we'll start exporting them one by one this operation will take a little while and will give us as an output a bunch of different files PNG pictures that we we'll later import in a open simulator in the following tutorial and then we'll use as reference for modeling in our uh, virtual world. Okay, so this is still running. You got to the sea level. It's doing one by one, so it's taking a little while. D level, so it's my fourth raw from the top. This way is a much more uh, quicker, otherwise I could even export them individually, select, selecting a layer and save as JPEG or save as PNG, but in this way is uh, automatized through a script and is much faster. Okay, there we go, and this should be the last one. Okay, export layers, files was successful, just click OK. And now, um, for this tutorial, is uh, it's enough. Next tutorial will be uh, checking out the folder with the, all the um, f um, pictures and then importing them in OpenSim.